the Connecticut Community College's nursing program, CT, CCNP, is an innovative associate degree nursing program offered at Capital Community College in Hartford. Well, at my former job, uh, one of the director of nursing saw that I was at a position where I wanted to move on in my education. She suggested some schools and um, suggested that Capital was one of the best around the area and I should look into it because I was interested in a two-year program and I looked into it, thought that it was the best, you know, choice for myself and here I am today. Everyone I had asked about Capital said, great school, it's a great school, they put out great nurses. Um, I was concerned because it's an inexpensive school, it's a community college, um, and that was not the feedback I had received from people in the community. And I had a co-worker, we always talked about going back to school for nursing and furthering our education, and just through word of mouth I started talking to um, another nurse that led with another nurse, and I came up with the same results for Capital. A graduate of the nursing program is awarded an associate in science degree and is eligible to take the National Council licensing examination for registered nurses, the NCLEX for RNs. The graduate is prepared to function as an entry-level practitioner in healthcare settings such as general or specialty hospitals, extended care facilities, doctor's offices, and clinics. I think the relationship between faculty and students is on a continuum and I think that um, I feel that part of my responsibility is to assess where the um, student needs me to intervene. It becomes a very collegial type of uh, relationship. In the beginning because I work with beginning students in 101 they come in with the feeling that we're going to be very standoffish and they find out very quickly that our doors are open. Um, we encourage our students to drop in, our advisees or any student that wants to drop in. We're available to meet for, to review their quizzes. We will meet with them about personal issues, if they have problems at their clinical site. Um, we feel that we need to be there to help um, any problem that might come up in their life or in their, um, their schooling. I think it's a very productive relationship. Um, it's, uh, we're, we're in awe of our students because of the um, responsibilities that they bring with them. It's, it's a rare student that comes immediately out of high school with, uh, without family obligations or employment obligations. Most of our students um, are working probably full time and, um, and have caring family responsibilities. So we are really in awe of their ability to juggle this, to prioritize and to make some decisions that need to be made in order to be successful in the program. It's, it's, um, it's difficult, it can be very difficult. But it's a, it's a respectful relationship and we do have fun and we do enjoy our mm -hmm. students and we laugh an awful lot. Their doors are truly open. Um, I think I've stepped in every office of, of this faculty in this room um, for some reason or other. Um, if not just to chat, say hello, uh, discuss a problem or an issue. Um, I'm impressed by the entire faculty of this school and the nursing program. Just to go to the faculty and just cry and be like, I can't believe, you know, <laughs> this, I'm putting myself under the stress, and have them say, you know what, you're not alone. They really can sit back and say, once you get to a point, they can let make you see the future. You know, they can make you see that you're going to get to the end of this road. What's causing the MI? Right? No, it's not. Oh, yeah, let's and don't forget that thought. So we'll wait just a couple minutes for the chest x-ray to be done. <laughs> okay. In terms of your suspecting a clot, what other med? Support services, there, there's a host. So we have um, our rideways from um, our advisors, 
We have arranged for um, the learning center, the tutor, which is um, formative, um, and there's such a host of different areas for pertaining to nursing students to help us along the way that it just it just continues to help and guide us. Tutor, it sounds like um, you need extra help, but it ends up being a um, a really nice group of people that form as a study group. I never really was into study groups, and because there's someone who heads it off, she's an RN, she understands the material, she can guide us when we have questions, when we're going off key, or we're not sure about um, what is meant um, by a certain disease process. She kind of does a lot of clarification. And we formed a really nice relationship as a group. Another support service that um, is available is something that David and I are both involved in. It's the Student Faculty Liaison Committee. It's comprised of two faculty representatives, two senior nursing students, two freshman nursing students. And for example, David and I have worked on this committee together for two years. And it's a forum to um, facilitate communication back and forth uh, sometimes I think there's an um, urban legend that nursing students sort of have about the program or about the faculty. And it's just a really informal place where I think most things are um, cleared up with communication. So I think that's another helpful support in a non-traditional educational way. Also, what we have is the nursing lounge, where um, it's kind of open to the students, where we use Web Vista and we are able to communicate with each other, ask questions, um, anything. It was just a forum of ways to just communicate with each other that wasn't kind of directly related to teachers. Participating hospitals include Hartford Hospital, St. Francis Hospital and Medical Center, Hospital of Central Connecticut, Eastern Connecticut Health Network, and Middlesex Hospital, as well as other facilities. When my students study oncology, um, we attend Tumor Board, which is an interdisciplinary conference with, phys with physicians that are oncologists, interventional radiologists, pathologist, uh, dietitians, nurses, uh, residents, and it's an opportunity for the students to experience how we all need to collaborate to meet the patient's needs. I also use the nursing lab as a freshman quite frequently. Um, it was a way to kind of strengthen the skills that I was learning with practice. You go to clinical, you kind of do it, but you need reinforcement of that. And I found that the nursing lab gave me the opportunity to try, you know, on a more relaxed level than actual clinical. In Nursing 101, which is, you know, a lower level fundamentals course, it's a lot of hands-on. So we try to use the instructional um, media that comes with the textbooks, with the skills book, incorporated into our modules, our lab modules help the students one-on-one -on -one, um, to learn a particular skill. Um, in the classrooms, we use our PowerPoint. We bring video in to our lectures. Um, we might bring some sounds in, depends on what we're trying to teach. I've utilized um, audio um, CDs when I teach my thyroid class. We go from easy listening to head-banging heavy metal for hyperthyroid. <laughs> um, I've shown uh, uh, visual clips, um, like um, an individual having a seizure, there's the document camera. I love microsim. Mm. We um, started using microsim and it really stimulates critical thinking. Um, it's, it, you really feel like you're at the bedside of a patient having an acute emergency. There is SimMan that is a computerized uh, mannequin. You push in the epi, when you, when you push it in, you just say to the reporter, epi going in. Okay, so I just... Yep. Okay, so epi going in. Capital's nursing program graduates are highly respected by the community. Many students transfer to four-year degree programs at Central Connecticut State University, St. Joseph College, and the University of Hartford. 
and these schools will also accept the nursing clinical credits earned at Capital. I'm at Manchester Memorial Hospital in the Family Birthing Center and um, besides the staff nurses, the doctors, the midwives, the APRNs, the nurse practitioners, they all participate in the education of my students. They seek opportunities for the students to observe um, certain procedures that ordinarily students wouldn't be allowed to see. Um, they feel that it's very important to give the students a, a real view of what um, family nursing is in a small community hospital. And they are looking to the future, hoping that students like it enough to go work there when they graduate. But it also is um, so positive for my students that they learn in a very non-threatening atmosphere. I do clinical at Middlesex Hospital in Middletown, and the students have been very favorably received. Um, it is a magnet hospital, the first magnet hospital in Connecticut. Capital Community College was the first school other than their own that was allowed to affiliate at Middlesex. And I've been the longest faculty member from anywhere there. I've been there for seven years. And um, every semester at the end of each rotation, students evaluate the clinical site. And consistently, they mention the helpful um, attitude of the nurses and um, it's really a good opportunity for the students to see role models other than faculty. I think they receive us very well. Every nurse I've been involved with, every PCA, um, every APRN has been more than willing to show me and help me and to uh, define what it was I was trying to ask. And so you've got a heart rate and a blood pressure. And you continue right. to do compressions. And, and compressions, compressions until right. you have... When we walk on the floor, Capital has its own name. You, all you have to do is walk in with your badge on and they're like, oh, Capital students. Yeah, it does. Capital has the most positive reputation. You know, and the thing about it is kind of nerve wracking because now we have to stand up to it. So, so we, have to, <laughs> we have to like, okay, the last students did this, so we need to do that and maybe a little bit more. But they, they're always open. I mean, if any questions I have, um, I had doctors that took me by the hand and said, let's do this procedure together. And then the next day he said, well, you've seen it, now you do it. So, I mean, very, um, very open to show us, to help us get to that level. If we're unsure whether it's giving an injection or what type the medication is or what is the interaction, you know, they're not always willing to tell us, but they help us to find the answer. And I think that's what sticks with us most, you know, not always to have a handout, but to have someone say, look, this is what you can do. This is how you can find it. And that kind of helps you to be on your own, to be independent. It. And I think that's where we're 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 trying we're all trying to get to where we can function. So we when we graduate, we'll be at that level, and they're really receiving and helping us do that. They're very supportive of us learning, and whatever they can do to give us a little heads up or see something that we might not see on a normal basis, they're willing to pull us aside and say, "Come on and look." We're also always opportunities to go observe in like critical care, or oncology. Um, renal dialysis, we're always pulled off to see other things. It's not just what's on the floor, what's the nurse doing. Other aspects are also shown for us. We get plenty of chances to, you know, do um, opportunity to see other areas of nursing. Six core values, critical thinking, safe and competent practice, caring, professionalism, communication, and holistic care provide the framework for organizing the nursing curriculum. If a friend of mine was saying that she wanted to go or he wanted to go into Capital's nursing program, I would definitely let them know that it is going to be the biggest challenge mm. of your life probably, you know, but you can do it. There's everyone there supporting you. Um, there's so many ways to, to get help if you need it. And there's, you know, there's learning beyond what you're learning in class. You can make this. You know that you can go on for your BSN, your APRN, whatever you want to do if you can make it through this program. Because this program, you know, it's a two-year program, but you're learning beyond two years of information. <laughs> and, you know, it's a strong program. Okay. I would tell my friend um, to go for it. Yeah. I would 
uh, tell her what the experience was, what the challenges was, um, let her know where the help is, and tell her it'd probably be one of the most challenging things she's ever done, mm. but one of the most exciting, one of the most new, one of the most gratifying feelings too. Because being a student and seeing yourself from freshman level to senior level is a rewarding experience. And Capital has helped to bring that reward. Each person that enters this program has their own experience and it's what you make of it. Um, you can excel. It's hard work and it's what you put into it. Um, the sky's the limit. <laughs>